code blocks and uh, nested code blocks are something you've already seen in these videos. If you watched any one of my videos, you've already seen them. Uh, but let me just clarify for you what exactly they are. Uh, so we go class and um, we're going to call this nested blocks. Check this box right here. And boom, we have our class. Let's see. Code blocks are things delimited by curly brackets. That's a code block right there, everything within there. There's no actual code in there, but that's a code block. And that's another code block right there. I see they're matching curly brackets. Now, if, if you actually click on a curly bracket or put your cursor next to it, Eclipse will highlight the matching one right there. Now, this in particular, this one in particular is a nested code block. Uh, because it starts and ends within another bl code block. Okay, uh, let me show you a practical application of that. We have int my int equal to zero. We're gonna go while my int is equal to zero, or that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna do while my int is less than a hundred. That makes a little more sense. Um, Oh, look at that, we just made another code block. And notice how we're indenting the code blocks. This makes for really easy reading uh, of your program, especially if you give it to someone else. I mean, you might know what you're doing if you don't have indentation, but when someone else picks it up, the indentation really makes their job easy. Uh, okay, and then let's say, I'm gonna create a new arbitrary integer. Uh, remainder that's a remainder there we go and that's going to be equal to my int mod 2 okay and we're going to make an if statement and the if statement is going to say if remainder equals 0 and make sure we have a double equal sign there cuz we're checking for equality if remain I can't spell. If remainder equals zero, uh, system dot out dot print line. We're actually going to have it print. Um, the number is even, because if the remainder of a number is zero when divided by two, it's even. And then we're going to say if remainder equal equal one, then going to do system dot out dot print and let's say this one's going to be print line and the number is odd you know to save space I'm just going to put odd with a space next to both sides and even and I think you'll get the point okay there we go and Notice we have we've made yet another pair of nested code blocks right there and we've indented everything Within that. So these code blocks, this one and this one, are nested within this code block, which is nested within this code block, and which is all nested within this code block. So as you can see, this is a pretty common occurrence, and we need to get a semicolon going right there. And finally, in the within the while loop, we're going to have um, my int plus plus. So let's see what this does. Don't forget the semicolon. Okay, we press play. Okay, proceed. And look at that, we have 50 pairs of even odds. So those are nested code blocks for you. Uh, I'm just gonna do some here. Plus my int, plus my int. Let's see if this works. Proceed. Look at that. We counted by evens and odds. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Cool, yeah? So that's nested code blocks for you. You'll see them all the time. Now you know exactly what they are.